Hey guys, Ace and Giga. So I finally matched the Segundo Tapa Ukiora, who in my opinion is the best heart SAD character till date. He has the second highest SP out of all the heart characters, with Hokuku Aizen being on top. There's only like a 30 difference. However, Hokuku Aizen lacks Frenzy, but has Bombardment, while Ukiora is the opposite. And Frenzy is really, really important for building SAD builds. So, he had, his stats are stamina 728, which is pretty low for a 6 star. 532 attack, which is not bad. 283 defense, 263 focus, and 609 defense. So for this review, I'll be reviewing the NAD as well as the SAD build for PvE. And then we'll move on to PvP for both the NAD build as well as the SAD build. So his 6 star abilities are Sprinter, which increases the number of flash steps. Frenzy, which increases strong hit attacks by 1. Devastation, which increases special move damage by 40%. Longer reach, so his normal attack has 10% extra reach. And Bruiser, which increases normal attack damage by 20%. So all these percentages of information can be attained by Breach Brave Souls FYI. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Pretty good website. So first I'll be reviewing the SAD build. So his, his normal soul traits is 20% strong attack damage. And for the SAD build, I got a 10 Shinto with 40% stamina, as well as a purple headband of justice with 20% SP, and a maxed out spirit cane in all SAD links. I will be doing the Rukia raid on Expert for this review, and we'll see how he plays. So we'll check out his NAD first. So the full hit stream that does 1,000 ton of damage on average. So that should be advantage. So the first strong attack is a massive beam which is about 2k damage each hit. Second is the spear which does a crazy 6k damage. Third is the explosion which is just devastating. So he has the potential to one-shot these guys. We'll see if his speed move. So there you go. So unfortunately we got hit there. So I'll show the explosion move. If you guys have this character, definitely 6 star him. So we missed that guy. Right, basically this guy one-shots. These orange characters. Except these guard breaks one. Because they deflect two hits. What a boost. So I, I have incorporated him into my PvP team, he's an absolute beast, especially his third-strong attack. Ooh, that nearly killed him with guard break as well. So his normal attack speed is pretty decent. The speed is above average. The thing is with his second strong attack, the second hit is not actually proccing because the first one is just killing him. So he could be doing 12k damage. Absolute machine. I wonder if he can nuke the boss with the tension tie. I guess we'll find out soon. And he nuked the boss. He doesn't even have bombardment. What a crazy character. Also, there's black flames that make him even more menacing. So we finished under 3 minutes while showcasing him. And we got a rookie, which is, which is a bonus. 
and another one. So next we move on to the NAD build with Double Champion and we'll see how he plays. So for his NAD build, I've got a 5 star watch with 30% attack and Double Champion with 40% stamina. I actually have another 5 star Chappy that I made yesterday that has 20% attack. However, it's not fully maxed out so I can't really use it in this review. But if it was maxed out, he would have over 1000 attack, but currently sitting on approximately 960 attack. And for his links, we got all NAD links. And we'll see how he plays. So I've never actually seen him in an NAD build, but he does pretty hard. Pretty hard. Even his frenzy. It's just crazy, it does heaps of damage. Maybe one shot these guys. Just mind boggling. Oh, there you go. There's zero SP. So, like, both builds are just crazy. Look at that. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure if I had that other champion, it would kill him because attack also affects strong attack damage as well. But not as much as SP. I'm pretty sure it does. It's crazy. One shots in. I wonder how this build works in PvP. I'm really interested now. Because in PvP, I only use the SAP build for it. I'm also interested in this special Sunshine Time Jet as well. I would think it would be, it'd be as spectacular because Francis are really effective. And we got Frozen. I'm hoping his special does take more than two bars at least. And kill these mobs. And we got another rookie drop. So both builds are pretty crazy for both uh, for PvE. I prefer, I prefer the SAD build, it's just too good. Especially if you have the the frenzy Byakuya that has the recharge time and strong attack damage. But next we'll move on to PvP. We'll start with the SAD build and then the NAD build. So for PvP I actually changed one of his links but I kept the same SAD gear. So I took out one strong attack damage and put in friends with Yora. So I'm sacrificing 2% strong attack damage for 9% dodge rate. Which in my opinion is a very good bargain. I also put Josh Rare first so we can have an attribute advantage because I hate losing PvP and I'm pretty competitive. So we'll start off with this Kendo, I mean Red Kenpachi, and we'll see how they Alright, it looks here versus the Yora. Yeah. 
So Ruka saved the day. Unfortunately, Red King Pachi destroyed my Joshua, who then destroyed my Okiora. But thank God we won. So we'll go with this Paragon, see how they play. Alrighty, Shinji. I'm pretty sure that Shinji was 44% dodge rate. So Okiro had a hard time getting his hits done. We'll try and find one more red. Too scared to reset 1001, but we'll go for it. Alrighty, Heineke. Interesting. Okay, I had explosion. It's two strong attacks gone. What a machine. If he can't get his strong attacks to hit, it's just devastating damage. That first strong attack, I think, done about 60% damage. And then his first strong attack just finished her off. So next we'll move on to the NAD build and we'll see which one's better. So it's got the exact same gear as the NAD build for PvE, as well as the links. And I want to do three battles and then I want to try just full dodge and see how it works as an SAD build with dodge links. So we'll first anyone since we have the attribute strategy. Alrighty, Toshro, so we have an attribute advantage on that. So unfortunately, he lost. I was really, really close. Alrighty, so they So his first strong tank did decent damage. Oh unfortunately she cancelled his first strong attack. So we'll do one more, and then we'll see this SAT kit with full dodge links, see how that works out. Versus Mugetsu. Alrighty, Baragon. Most likely full dodge. So his strong attacks still do some decent damage. Baragon with Sparrow. So in this case he did survive against Baragon. But let's see which if the dodge build is superior. So for this build up, I kept the exact same team, as well as the exact same gear. However, I changed Ukiora's links. I kept Frenzy Ukiora, so in this case we're sacrificing 2% dodge for 18% strong attack damage. And we got two full dodge links. So all up has got 31% dodge rate. And 38% strong attack damage. So I'll just look for a red unit. And there we go. So now he has a chance of getting uh, less knockbacks. 
Alrighty, so he's pressing when you get to. I'm hoping I'm trying to take him here. There we go. Not sure why he didn't use his strong attacks, but his third strong attack did heaps of damage to that Nigetsu. So I'll try to find another red unit. There we go. Hopefully this time he can use his strong attacks. Alrighty, another Nigetsu. Unfortunately, got knocked back. But he did win. And his special hits really hard. Also, because of that tension type. So, in this case, the dodge didn't really help him for his. I think it was his second strong attack he got hit. But he's more viable. He's taking less punishment. Um, let's see if we can get revenge. Alrighty, Hanukkah. Alrighty, because we're gonna use it. They got knocked back in that place. So unfortunately we lost. I'm not sure why he doesn't want to use his first strong attack from a distance. He wants to use his NAD straight away. We'll do one more. Alrighty, so they. Nice still saying quite close. And he got knocked back and frozen. But he nuked the whole team. That's crazy. So overall for PvE, I think the SAD build as well as the NAD build are pretty good. Uh, me, preferably, I'd probably go with the SAD build. Just because of the high SP as well as the Frenzy synergize pretty well together and has the potential to one-shot any enemy except probably the bosses and Miranda Riders with his strong attacks, but he can probably one-shot the bosses with his special. In terms of PvP, I think the SAD build is more superior than the NAD builds. The only issue that he has with the SAD build, however, is that sometimes he decides to go straight to the enemy without using his SADs at all and just starts swinging, which sucks to be honest, because when he does yeah, let off his SADs and they hit, they do devastating damage. It would also be cool if he could use his first strong attack, which is that massive beam, straight away, kind of like Joshiro does. But however, he doesn't, and I don't know why. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, and it was pretty informative, like and subscribe for more Bleach Brave Souls content, and enjoy your day.